this is Elliot from Black Nerd Coffee, and let's make some coffee. All right, so today we are going to make coffee using this pure over brew method. Uh, this is a really cool device that we recently discovered. Um, imagine it as the pour over coffee, except without the filter, right? So a couple coffee guys over on the West Coast kind of got together and they're like, you know what? There's got to be a way for us to make some really good coffee without all the paper filter waste. So they ended up with this. So for the pour over, what you're going to end up with is you're going to use about 20 grams of coffee uh, ground to slightly coarser than drip, but slightly finer than Chemex. So that's about a medium fine grind size. So what we're gonna do is I've got my grinder set to that particular grind size. Just get it started. Make sure it's plugged in. And voila. actually really cool because typically when you're brewing with pure over you're kind of brewing to you're, you're pouring your coffee sort of like at a certain um, amount or here you're, we're just using everything in the, um, the pure over coffee maker itself so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that so we're gonna put this thing to you so if you got two pieces you kind of basically like your cup you've got your brewer that's gonna hold all the grinds do is we're going to just take that freshly ground coffee, pour that in there, and then just kind of shake that up. When you grind coffee using these burr grinders, a lot of that coffee kind of sticks because of the static electricity, so you just kind of make sure you get as much coffee out of that as possible. Now you're going to even that out, shake it up a little bit so the grinds are big enough to work. So you're going to get a little bit of grinds to just kind of fall to the bottom and just to the fact that, you know, it's a filterless grind size or it's a filterless, filterless brew method. All right, so you're going to place that thing on top now. So for your first pour, we're just kind of, a lot of this is kind of eyeballing it. So you're going to pour over that diffuser until about all of the grounds are initially submerged. So, right about there. You just kind of want to stop and, you know, on like a traditional pour over method, that would be like your initial blow, right? So just kind of mix that up a little bit. Okay. And so, the next pour then, which is kind of like your Last and final pour is you're just gonna pour your water until you get to about the bottom of this handle right here. And we'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. This pour over comes with a little spoon, so you just want to kind of stir it up. I do usually about 20 times just to kind of get those grounds agitated, a lot more water. So you want more, as much hot water as possible to kind of come into contact with those grounds. And then that's going to start to just kind of drain down. And once that's stops and kind of slows down, you'll notice that it's still a nice constant drip and flow down there. Once that slows down, 
then you know that you're at the end of the brew cycle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that cake in the bottom. So what's happening is all those grounds are just kind of collecting like down towards the bottom in the middle of that pure over. And it's gonna reach a certain point where that coffee that's brewed won't be able to go through there because there's just like a traffic jam of like all those grinds down there. So it's starting to slow down right there as you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my spoon and I'm literally just gonna break that cake up, just kind of move it around and that kind of ends my brew cycle right there. So now I'm going to take my Black Nerd coffee cup, which we sell online. And maybe I'm sharing this with someone else or maybe I'm not. But the good thing about this is that you literally just take this out, pour those grinds into the trash can. Careful, it's a little hot. And you are ready for your freshly brewed coffee. This is Black Nerd Coffee using the pure over method. Enjoy.